Hi guys, it's me Danielle Denny Buttons and I'm here today with a tag video. Sorry you can see my mouse, but I need to keep my computer alive to see the questions. So I am going to do round two of the this or that tag by Michaela Renee. She is my buddy who just came up with this part two recently and she tagged me direct, so that's exciting. And I'm gonna get my people I'm tagging out of the way right away so I don't accidentally forget because that has happened before. So I am tagging the following three people. Number one, Christy from Crafting with Christy. My buddy, I think she would enjoy this tag and I wanna see what her answers are. Um, and then two newer friends, so Erica at Elm Colors and Miss Turtle at Pickwick Turtle. So hopefully you three ladies would enjoy doing this tag. I just think it's so fun to see everybody's answers. I'm interested, I know Erica doesn't do any color by number. And there's a few color by number questions on here. So you might have to skip those, but I still think you should give color by number a try, but that's just me. But anyway, let's get right into it. So I'm coloring today out of Ocean Miniatures. This is a buddy color I'm doing with Meg from Meg's Art Atrium. I'll link her below too. I think she already got tagged. So that worked out nicely that she hopefully will be doing this soon too. I'm actually also going to be using my new set of Tao trees. I still have a few left in my old set, but I want to do this page justice. So we're going to whip out the new set. So let me pick a color or two before I start answering questions. We have 20 questions and a bonus. In fact, I helped Michaela. So one of these questions I thought up. So I'll tell you that when we get there. Um, what should we do? I really wanted to do like a color family, but I think I have similar ideas to what Meg did and I don't want to copy her, but I like, I'm so sad because I was going to not even look at hers until I was done so that I couldn't copy her, but then I did look at hers. So, ugh. but I think I might do my big mama in purple, different shades of purples. And then I'm going to do like blues for the little guys, different shades of blues, maybe some greens. I don't know. Um, it might come out similar, but you know what? It's gonna be different because I did it, you know? So it can't be the same. So I'm gonna work on my seaweed first. I always do the green first, I don't know why. But let's give it a shot. All right, so as this tag implies, it's, but basically this or that. So two different options and you have to pick what choice that you would prefer to do. Some of them for me, I was watching Michaela's video and I was like, oh, that's so easy. Like I know exactly my answer. And then some of them I was like, no, this is impossible. I don't know what to do. And I already know I'm going to attempt to be like, well, um, in which situations? But no, I'm gonna have to definitively pick because that's the game. So it's gonna be hard, but we can do it. Also, these are so new and juicy that I'm gonna go over all the lines. So that's cool. But anyway, question number one, coloring in bed or coloring at a desk? I 100% say color at a desk. I almost never color in bed. Um, sometimes I'll color like at the couch, but usually if I'm coloring anywhere that's not my desk, I bring a tray table. So I'm still coloring on that type of surface. Um, sometimes I'll like use a clipboard in bed, but if I do, that's almost always like one color books. And it's just like if I'm sick and physically can't get to my desk. So it doesn't happen too often. Or sometimes if I'm like stuck in the bedroom because Noodles is barking at like a handyman or something who's in the house so I can't get to my desk. But again, usually I'll just bring in my tray table. So very much I am a desk person. Number two is Crayola Super Tips or Stetler markers. This one, is it already one of the harder ones? I do use them both. I think they both have pros and cons. It's really nice that Crayola um, is so affordable, but they also dry out quicker in my experience. And they are hard to tell apart if you don't swatch them out. Like they all, like a bunch of the greens kind of look the same and a bunch of the blues. So I think I'm going to go with the Statler dual tip. Um, now there's 120 colors in that set and I like that for my Disney color by numbers. So I think the Statler and I've had a set of Statler for a really long time that worked really well for me and has not 
dried out at all. I am on my second set now, but that's because I upgraded from the 72 to the 120. So, yes. Let me finish this segment. That's the hard part about coloring with alcohol markers is it's hard to like stop what I'm doing. All right, next. Number three is Erie's Romantic Country Series or Erie's Tracing Series. I love the Romantic Country Series. It was one of the probably first 10 books I got. It wasn't the very first, but it, I bought Romantic Country 2 very, very early in my coloring journey, or I guess my adult coloring journey, because again, I've always been coloring, but I just really like those books and I really like her style and the tracing ones are great and I desperately want the festival volume. I accidentally got the wrong volume, so I only have one and it's not the festival one. So will I probably add it to my collection? Yes, one day I probably will but it's just harder for me and my style to work with that book because um, I can't just color it normal or I don't let myself. So I don't know, but they're both fun. If I have the festival one, this might be a different story, but for now it is very much the Romantic Country series and I just really want her to keep coming out with more and more and I would love for it to come back out in English at some point. I don't understand why her books haven't been published over here in English because the romantic country books are still sold in stores. Like you can still get them in Barnes and Noble. So it's very strange to me that they're not, they weren't picked up, but who knows? I have no idea how publishing works. So oh, now I'm on a different segment. One second to do, to do. I think I also picked to do this first because it would get me out of making decisions, but the time is almost here. Ugh, and Noodles is crying because I she's out in the other room with Sam and kicked out of the office. And again, not kicked out. On my live, people were sad for Noodles for being kicked out, but she just goes into another room. She's okay. So, what's next? Number four, Sachin Sachdeva color by number or color Questopia color by number. This one is hard again because they're both good for different vibes. So I definitely enjoy both of their books and series. But if I had to pick, which I do, that's the point to making myself make these hard decisions, I would pick color Questopia because as of right now, their variety of books, I, there's more that I like the subject matter. I'm sure the more Sajin comes out with, the more I'm going to like, but for now, Color Questopia has the slight edge. Um, also, Sajin's overall tend to be a little bit simpler, which is, again, there's some days that that's all I wanna do, but there's some days I don't, and I like, I kinda like doing detailed color by number because I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> so there's that. I don't know how I'm going to ever look up again because this is a huge segment. Oh, no. All right, how am I going to do this? I'm scared. Let me get to like a bigger part so that I can be coloring and looking up at the same time. Whew. Number five is Hannah Lynn. I saw that. All right, so Hannah Lynn's simple version or her more complex version more detailed version of the page. Personally, I like the detailed version more for the most part. Um, I'm still gonna go with that as my answer, but I think what's interesting is in her first maybe five or six books, there was only one version and she slowly started coming out with the two version books. And I think once she came out with the simple and the hard one, she just also made all of her pages more detailed probably because she was gonna also put out a simple version. So I really like a lot of her early style. I think she's gotten better, like cleaner lines and things like that, just more talented in general. But I liked the difficulty level of a lot of her earlier books. So I tend to still like the detailed versions. It depends on the, I don't think I've actually ever colored a simple version. So I really have to say the detailed ones, so. 
that's my answer and I'm sticking to it. And I'm still doing the same section. All right, all right, look it up, look it up. Ooh. Coloring animals or coloring people? I can't tell if this is really hard or really easy for me <laughs> because as a straight colorist for 90% of what I do, I, it's not really, a, I don't know. I think, I don't know. Um, I said I have to pick, so I'm going to have to pick, but it's hard because I don't, if I'm trying to define what my coloring style is, I don't even know if I could tell you. Like, I don't know if I color more animals or more people or maybe just more things and that's why I'm so confused because if you've been around at all, you know I'm a grump and I don't like a lot of animals, but I also don't like the style of a lot of people. So it's almost neither, but I guess like sea critters are animals. So, and I do like them. So I probably have to go with animals, I think. That might have been my, my, like that one was really hard for me, actually. I keep my colors out when I'm using them so I don't accidentally use the same color twice or if I like missed a spot, it's easy to find. So, next up, let's do a little blue guy. Where are we now? Number seven, do you plan your colors in advance or do you wing it? So I, I, this one's hard too because I kind of do a combo and I'm not trying to like excuse it away and, and waffle between them, but I will plan my color palette. Like when I started this, I knew I wanted to do purples and blues, but I didn't specifically pick out the markers, you know what I'm saying? So I guess I plan it in advance more often than not. And then it's hard because I do so much like color by number that those are obviously planned in advance. So I think I have to go with plan in advance. Um, again, I like to plan things in advance, like this, even in my regular life, I always like to plan things in advance because it's easier to have plans and change them than it is to come up with plans on the spot. So it does, it makes sense that I choose this answer. Cause this always happens like choosing what we want for dinner. This always happens. It's so hard to pick, so hard to pick. And then we just like waffle around for hours and hours. And then it's like, oh, now it's eight o'clock and we didn't eat. Or like choosing activities to do as a group. Or even I'm still planning our upcoming Disney trip and I've told my friends, I was like, guys, I'm going to plan the hoo hoo out of this trip. Like I'm gonna plan it almost to the minute. And then when we get there, it'll be really easy to ignore the plans if we want. Like I'll be flexible once we're there. But I hate like when you're when you're someplace and it's like, okay, well, what do you wanna do next? Do you wanna like go to eat or do you wanna go on a ride? And then everyone's like, I don't know, what do you wanna do? I don't know, what do you wanna do? And I'm like, well, here's what the plan was. So while you're thinking, let's do this thing. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know why I brought that up, but I guess it does relate because if I have no plan for colors, I'll just sit and look at the page. Maybe that's another tip I have for how I color so many pages is I kind of think about it before I start. I don't know what to color the last little guy though, now that I've mentioned it. Maybe I'll do this light green. So, yeah, sorry, <laughs> that was a long answer. What number are we up to now? Do you straight color or blend color? Now, I've, I've already said it. This, I am, I wanna say 90% straight colorist. So every once in a while I'll dabble in something else. And I do like with watercolor, I will mix my own colors, which is kind of a form of blending. But for the most part, I just straight color. I just really love the look of it. I love um, this. I love how solid it looks. And I think it's cool. And I really admire people that can blend because sometimes they make like actual works of art, but for me, it's mostly straight coloring. 
do you do up oh, color by number or color by color so color by color is the new kira shirzma series that she has out and i enjoy those a lot but i probably at this time will still say color by color just because there's more of them so i really do enjoy the kira books and i'm happy to have them in my collection and i like to do those pages a lot but there's so many color by number choices available that I still have to go with that. Next up, do you prefer alcohol markers or Sharpie slash permanent markers? Um, I went through a phase that I was all about that Sharpie life, but I think I would have to still stick with alcohol markers. It's hard to tell. Hold on, I'm thinking about my next color. Do I want their bellies to match their faces or their faces to match their like external bits? Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm gonna make, I wanna make her spots be all the kids' colors. So I'll do that first while we're still thinking. Um, I forgot what I was talking about. Alcohol markers, yes, alcohol markers. These are alcohol markers. These are Matao trees. You might have heard me talking about them. <laughs> and I just, I really like them. Some permanent markers like will have a smell, which I don't enjoy. And sometimes they'll run out on me quicker than I'm expecting them to. So I think permanent markers. I mean, alcohol markers is my answer for that one. But I do enjoy them both. Do you like coloring images realistically or wacky colors? I very much struggle with coloring things wacky colors, except apparently sea critters, because here we go with these purple. But I think overall I tend to lean realistic, so that's gonna be my answer. But I've been trying to expand. And I do like to, to color on the bright side of realistic. So like for a tree, I will pick green but it'll be like a neon green, you know? So that's, I guess, kind of wacky, but realistic, realistic. Next up, do you color while listening to a podcast, music, or audiobook? Um, basically, audiobook. I don't really, I don't understand my own um, content consumption. I do a lot of audiobooks. And I watch a lot of YouTube, and that's basically it. I don't really do much else. Like, I don't really watch much TV. Right now, I'm kind of watching some stuff, which is different for me, so that's kind of exciting. I'm watching Pretty Little Liars as a rewatch, and I'm watching The Circle from Netflix as something new. And I do have all my baking shows recorded, but I've gotten really behind on them. So, I don't know what I watch. Not much, but I do enjoy audiobooks. It depends. Um, I listen to a lot of like cozy mystery audiobooks. Like there's certain genres that I can't listen to on audio because I won't retain it. But I do love an audiobook. So let me find my color. Do you see it? Blue green. Yeah. What number? Number 14, Kirby Rosanna's World Within Worlds or Fragile World. So this is very specific. Um, I have them both and I have yet to color in World Within Worlds, which obviously is the older one. I just got Fragile Worlds and I have already finished a page in there, but I don't know if it's because I like it better. I just think it's almost less intimidating, which is crazy because they're both so beautiful and detailed and intimidating. So, um, I still might say World Within World. I just think it's so creative and cool. So I think that is my answer there. Let me think one more second about her colors. I might do more purples. I think it just makes sense. So let's see, what color purple is this? Don't know, should I just wing it? It's a good purple. I still, I still don't know if I should do the belly and the hair the same, the face and like, what do I do here? 
Maybe I'll do the, f should I do three colors? Ugh, it's too hard. I'm gonna do her belly first and then we'll discuss it again. Where are we? Number 14, Camellia Andrelkova's mandalas or miniatures. How funny that I'm coloring Camellia Andrelkova and this question came up. So, man, this might be one of my harder ones too because I absolutely love her miniature series and I have all of them and I would love to one day like complete all of them. I love them a whole ton. But shockingly, I still might say her mandalas because they're really the only mandalas I will do. And even if I do others, they are definitely the ones that introduce me to the whole genre of mandalas. Like I never liked them before and I've done like legitimately 80 of hers. So I think that says something about her mandalas and I really do enjoy them. I mean, I love these miniatures so much though. So new hardest question alert, but I think I'm going to go with her mandalas and I'm shocking myself, but I know her seasonal mandalas, I think has some of these critters in them. So maybe I'll have to pick up some of those and then it's kind of a best of both worlds situation. Number 15 is, oh no, this is a hard one too. I remember Kayla was like, oh, I feel really bad. Number 15 is a buddy color or color on your own. So, you know, I love buddy coloring. I'm buddy coloring this right now. I do like 15 buddy colors a month. I love talking to people, meeting new people. I love buddy colors because they make me choose different things that I probably normally wouldn't. But I still might say coloring on my own. Only because then if I like don't finish a page, it doesn't matter. I is Noodles is outside again? What the heck? I don't know how she got out there. Um, I don't think I have ever DNF'd, I'll call it, like and completed a buddy color. But if I was just coloring on my own and I like wanted to stop, I would just stop, you know? So I enjoy that, that I can do that if I wanted to, because I very much, like I'm an advocate that coloring should be for fun. And if you have a hundred whips, oh well, you know what I mean? Like if you wanna color just blue things in that whole book, so every single page is a whip, then you do you. But it's harder to do that with buddy colors. So I do love them both, but I think coloring on my own. But it's all so hard because I really love that buddy colors make me pick pages. That I wouldn't normally pick. It's so cool to see everyone's different styles and choices. Like when I get a book, I look through it and I'm like, oh, these are my three favorite pages. Like these are the three obvious choices of best pages. But that's ridiculous. Other people have different opinions and I'll see other people talk about the same book and they'll be like, this is my absolute favorite page. And I'm like, holy cannoli, like I didn't even think of that page. You know what I mean? So I don't know. All right, next up. Do, oh, this was my question, right? Yeah, this was my question. So would you rather, or this or that, try a new artist or buy from an old favorite? So like if you were able to buy one book or somebody's given you a book, which would you pick? And I think I would try an, or yeah, buy an old favorite more likely. I think that once I like somebody's style, I like their style and I'm likely to keep buying from them. I think I am gonna do the back is the same as the belly and then I'll do the wings and face something else. Yes, all right, sorry, live decisions going on. Yeah, so like when Camellia came out with this book, I auto bought it and it's fun. I don't, it's harder for me to try new artists and I feel like I don't until I see a lot of people already coloring in their work. I almost will never pick something up on my own without having seen a friend color in it first. Almost never, I can't remember the last time I did. So definitely buying from an old favorite. Number 17, a colorful or neutral color palette. This was Emily's question. And I 
am a colorful person. Even if I'm being realistic, I always end up being super colorful. I don't know, especially like, even I was gonna say like in real life I'm more neutral, but no I'm not. I really like color <laughs> and I like bright and I like, I don't wanna say I like standing out because I don't want anybody looking at me in real life, but I just think it's fun and I think coloring is the best place to be super bright and colorful because it's just for you. So it doesn't matter what it looks like, you know? And that's cool. So I'm a colorful palette kind of gal. Okay, number 18. Do you typically color a page in one sitting or work on it little by little? I very frequently color in one sitting. Is that the right color? Yes, it is, okay. Um, mostly because I use alcohol markers and therefore I am fast. I have no problem stopping. Um, sometimes if it's a more intense page, I will intentionally stop. For my Kirby page that you'll see at the end of the month, it, I ended up doing a double page spread. So it was a big undertaking and I literally put a half an hour timer on and would color for half an hour and then stop because I was like, this is gonna be way too overwhelming if I try to sit and do it all at once. So I did not try to do that. And that was definitely, I find things like that helpful for me because if I try to like push myself through all at once, then I might like burn out on it entirely and not wanna finish. But half an hour at a time and then I would like mix it in with, well, I was cleaning my desk while I was mixing it in, but I would also mix it in with an easier page, like do a one color page real quick or a different color by number or work on other buddy colors or whatever the answer may be. Number 19, do you color while watching TV or while watching YouTube? So as I mentioned, I mostly only watch YouTube. So that's the problem too. Uh oh, I think I have to sneeze. This is a problem three. Oh my goodness. Uh, it's not gonna come out because I talked about it. All right, be on alert for a sneeze. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube on my TV and then I don't comment on anybody's videos and then I feel incredibly guilty so I'm really behind on comments right now even on my own videos so hopefully after this you'll be seeing a wave of my responses but um, I just watch YouTube as my TV so that's what I do and that's why I don't comment on people's videos so Number 20, this is our last one before the bonus. We made it to the end. Number 20 is color by number, pixel mosaics or standard color by number. So I really love all color by number and I love the mosaics and the and the pixels, but I'm, hmm, I was gonna be like, it's pretty obvious, it's standard, but maybe it's not. What do I do? I feel like I do a lot of pixels. See, when you say mosaics, does that include then my Disney ones? Because if it includes my Disney ones, then I think we're, we're swinging hard towards that because my mystery ones, I guess are mystery mosaics. And that's a big majority of my color by numbering. So that's not the color I wanted, is it? Hmm. No, it's definitely not. Sorry. Of course, I'm literally one question from the end, but I'm like, oh, I have to choose this moment to pick a new color. Did I already use 164? Is that what happened? Where is it? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I guess mosaic if the Disney ones count as mosaic, which they probably do. So that, mosaic slash pixels. I also really love a project, like the mosaic style feels like diamond painting to me, which I was always obsessed with. And that's kind of why I got into diamond painting. Cause I was like, ah, a crossover. So pixel mosaics, please. And then finally, if you had to use only one supply for the rest of your coloring life, what would it be and why? Of course, she really wants to like get you at the end, make you think, 
traumatize you a little. I don't know. So this is hard, of course. And I was thinking alcohol markers. But I think I might go with my watercolors. And the brand doesn't really matter. I guess I'll say my Prima watercolors because that's what I use most recently. But for watercolors, I know that I can mix any color I need or want, any shade, that it'll work on double-sided or single-sided, and it's just fun. So probably that. So yay, we did it. That was all of the questions. I really milked it, geez. So again, I am tagging these people down below, Christy, Erica, and Miss Turtle, and I will tag Michaela because she created this, and I'll tag Meg because that's my buddy. I'm sorry I didn't finish. I don't think I'm going to speed color because if I did, it would be like six seconds, but you'll see this real soon. We're almost at the end of the month, so thank you so much for watching and sticking around with me if you made it all the way to the end. Maybe we'll say seaweed. Why not? And be feel free to do this tag if you want, even if I didn't tag you, and just make sure to... Um, link it back to Michaela because she thought up these questions and there we go that's that's the end and I'll see you guys in two days with something different bye